How's that job search of yours going? Not so good? You might want a little more help and advice. Head to fivestrengths.com slash webinar to register for my free webinar, Break the Six-Figure Salary Barrier, Master Your Executive Job Search. You'll get great strategies and a ton of free resources to help your job search from a name you can trust. That's fivestrengths.com slash webinar. Now on to the show. Hello and welcome to the Job Search Podcast. If you've been listening along these last few episodes, you'll have heard that talking about a simple research plan for executive job search success. I'm Amy L. Adler, and this is one of my favorite topics as I prepare executives for their careers, write their resumes, develop their LinkedIn profiles, and so on. Step three today is about targeting the right companies. We talked about industry before and we talked about focusing your own assets. Today we're going to talk about targeting the right company. So now that you have a good sense of what the industry landscape looks like because you've done the research in part two, it's time to narrow down your list of company targets. Start to make a list of the companies on which you want to focus and these companies should be hiring for the type of work you want to do in the industry in which you want to do it. So for a plan, look across your target industry, perhaps one of the adjacencies you were looking at in part two, or maybe your existing current industry. It's up to you, but look at that target industry and then start to narrow down your set of company targets that fall into it. Start by evaluating the market in which you want to work and live. It makes the most sense. So if you live here in Salt Lake City, where I live, then limit your search to Salt Lake City. But you don't actually have to. If you want to do it more broadly, you can certainly do that and start to think about um, the kinds of opportunities that exist across the, the company or across the industry. And you can use Indeed.com or LinkedIn.com and the specialty job boards just to get a sense of who's doing what kind of hiring. But don't apply for these jobs online. You will have heard me, if you've been listening to this podcast, say multiple times that applying online is a death sentence for your job search. Probably fewer than 5%, maybe fewer than 3% of jobs are filled that way, and you're never going to be um, fully successful if that is your only strategy. So use these online tools as tools, as research opportunities. Um, And instead of applying for 10 jobs a week or whatever your metric might be, Start to reach out to people in these organizations, people who work for these companies that you've targeted or people who know people you know, and start making appointments with them for informational interviews, for coffee meetings, for quick phone calls, whatever you think they might have time for or might be amenable to. At the same time, use local business journals and newspapers as resources to learn about companies in your industry, particularly if they're receiving funding or moving to a bigger space, which indicate corporate growth and potentially intent to hire new personnel. Next, start to read some company blogs and uh, research reports and so on to see if you're interested in what they say are their missions, goals, activities, products, customers, whatever it might be. See if there's some synergy there for you. Finally, deeply understand the role of recruiters in your job search. If a recruiter reaches out to you with an opportunity, take the call every single time. Whether the opportunity is right for you or not, you won't know until you talk to them, and burning these bridges can be hazardous to the health of your job search. That having been said, make sure that you are the first point of contact to companies that you are targeting. So if you have a top 20 list, Make sure that you reach out to these organizations first before recruiters can get to you about these roles, assuming that your network is going to be at least as valuable as a single inquiry to you by a recruiter. The reason for this is that when you reach out first, you are um, hireable for free, which might be a compelling uh, balancing point, tipping point to your hiring executive. Once again, I'm not saying don't respond to recruiters. Recruiters are incredible assets because they have insider information that you don't have, that I don't have. And the more they can share this insider information with you, the more likely you're going to get closer to the types of roles that you want that are not publicized. But if you're just doing a broad search, don't necessarily think that you can't reach out to companies first and make that first point of contact be your email or your phone call. 
Finally, here are some notes. Don't be discouraged if a particular company is not posting the job you want to do on its career site. Your strategies need to be focused, and they should include building your network of people inside those companies or related to those companies. You need to build advocacy before you can be a, a strong applicant. You need to build advocacy in those organizations before people will know, like, and trust you. So make sure that you are talking to multiple people at multiple levels. Don't worry so much about whether they're your peers or your future hiring entity. In fact, I would make the point that you shouldn't be talking at this moment to the people who can be doing the hiring because that's a terrible first uh, presentation. You need to start building that advocacy so that multiple people in the companies you're targeting can say, yes, this is a good person to talk to. Finally, don't just focus on large companies in your job search. They're easy to find. They're going to make the news in your local uh, area, of course, and maybe even national news. But small and mid-sized companies, including startups, are a significant source of new job opportunities. So don't discount a company just on its size. Think about its growth potential or stage in the business life cycle. So that was step three in a simple research plan for executive job search success. I'm Amy L. Adler. Um, feel free to reach out to me, 801-810-5627, to let me know where you are in the process of targeting companies. I'd be happy to lend any advice that I can. Um, I thank you for listening and stay tuned for the next episode, part four of this series. Um, and I look forward to any comments, questions, thoughts, feedback you might have. Thanks.